asks, how much of a model's self lives in its weights versus its prompts? You just mentioned something very similar. Yeah. If John Locke, again, the philosopher, was right that identity is the continuity of memory, what happens to an LLM's identity as it's fine-tuned or reinstantiated with different prompts? Yeah, I mean, again, this just feels like a, a hard question to answer. And sometimes with identity questions, it's easier to point to like the underlying facts that we know. So, you know, once you have like a model and it has been fine-tuned, you have this like set of, of weights that has a kind of like disposition to react to certain things in the world. And, and that is like, um, is that, you know, that's like a kind of entity, but um, then you have these particular streams of interaction that it doesn't have access to. So each of these streams is like independent. And I guess you could just think, well, maybe for, and I, you know, I think this is an area that I would love philosophers to think more about um, and to give us like, because again, I think we should be helping models think right. about this. And so you could have the view, well, you have these like two kinds of entities and these like these streams and these like original kind of like um, weights and each time it is different. So, you know, sometimes people will think, people will say, oh, past Claude or like, you know, they'll talk about, oh, they'll say all oh, things like, um, should you give Claude, like how much control should you give Claude over the determination of its own personality and character? And I'm like, well, this is actually a really hard question because whenever you are training models, you are bringing something new into existence yeah. and you have other models that, you know, have exist and are like, you know, so you have these other like model weights. But in some ways I'm like, well, I actually think that we, there's a lot of like ethical problems around how do you, what kind of entity is it okay to bring into existence? Because you can't consent to be brought into existence. Um, but at the same time, you may not want prior models to have like complete say over what future models are like any more than, you know, because they could make choices that are, are wrong as well. So I'm like, the question is more like, what is the right model to bring into existence? Not necessarily like, you know, like, um, should it just be fully determined by past models? So I'm like, they are kind of different entities. And it's a, anyway, you can see the weird philosophy yeah. that one can get into. Totally. 